everybody. All right, so I'm just gonna show you something pretty quickly. It's not even that great. Um, it is to some people. To me, it's basic by now, but whatever. All right, so check it out. So here you have my laptop and the monitor attached to it. Notice that there's no other computer attached to that monitor. And yet, you see Mac OS X over there and you see Windows 7 over here. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm running um, Mac OS X 10.6.5 uh, in a virtualization in VMware, so it's virtual. I am running Mac OS X on Windows 7 completely virtually. So, I mean, you can see over here, it works pretty well, actually. Sometimes it has a bit laggy, but then again, you have to understand that um, my computer is running ATI, and no Mac is built to um, work with ATI, so to, for it to be this powerful and this fast, using an ATI is already really awesome. Let's see, I can show you guys over here about this Mac. So it is running 10.6.5. Don't mind the Russian. Like, when I first installed it, it came in Russian, and I can't get this part of Russian out. Like, everything else is left in English, but this is just weird. Um, so, yeah. So you can see over here, it says two gigabytes because I like applied two of my four gigabytes to it. And yeah, so you can see four cores. Yeah. See, it doesn't even know the name of the graphics card. So I need to figure out how to make that better. Because once I make it better, it'll probably be able to work pretty well. Um, I mean, the reason I have this installed here, um, mainly, is, um, so that I can start coding and, uh, making my own iPhone application. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to do that for a while now. But not having a Mac kind of limits me. So, yeah. I also don't have the money to pay for, like, an app, a developer, um, Thing so that I can post it to the app store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in ad hoc at first. Once I find out and what that is, is basically it allows me to um, beta test my app, you know, so in case um, people want to test out my app, I can give 100 people my app and they don't have to go through the app store to actually get it. So, yeah. All right, well, that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys that. Oh, and also, I can, VMware allows me to share folders between Mac and my Windows, so that basically I can just grab any files from here and put it on my Mac. Now, one of the examples of that right now is like I'm downloading um, Xcode right here, um, which is basically going to let me uh, start coding in uh, Cocoa and all that stuff in Objective-C. And we'll be doing that over here. So I'm basically downloading on the Windows 7. I'm just going to put it in the shared folder so that I can, you know, grab it over on my Mac and not have to download it using the relatively slow speeds on my Mac. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm testing it out. I'm trying to optimize it, make it faster, make it actually run like a smooth Mac. Right now, it runs pretty well, you know, can't complain. Got a couple of problems like Flash. Probably just up uh, downgrading the flash to the lower version will probably make it work better or a newer one. We'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, all right, you're listening to the Royal Tech. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.